Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Monday Night, and tonight we've got a new platform to talk about, yes, another new platform. Mm. Also, I've changed my promotion strategy, big news, and I've finally decided my business structure going forward, after all that talk we had a while back, um, plus sale of the week and a load of other fun, and the duck race. And I'm back, Hi. Anyone there? You waiting? Is anyone waiting? Well, there's some people waiting here. Hi. Hello. Anyone there? <sighs> Hang on a second, what's this? <laughs> There is a duck race later on. I hate that duck. Now the favourite person of the show is here. Say hello, cooks. Say hello. Because we all know that's what people come for, don't we? They don't come to see us. They come to see the dog. I think we need to go and get ready. So see you in a minute. Hello everybody! Again. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, we thought, I thought I'd try something different for that uh, little intro rather than have a blank screen. I thought we'd just put us on screen for the intro. So uh, let, me know, let me know what you think. Well, considering he told me about three seconds before he did it, hence the fact I sat there just looking shell-shocked like... A little bit more warning next time. Oh, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. What? What have we got on tonight? I've already said. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Um, welcome everybody in the chat. I hope you've had a good week. Uh, I hope everybody's reselling has been going well, of course. eBay's picked up a little bit for me. Um, still not where it should be, but I have been doing some tweaks in the background. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, in the meantime, Belle is going to say hello to as many people as possible in the two minutes allotted time. So get your um, hellos in the chat now. Uh, who has a squeaky chair? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you need to you need to stay still. Um, I need to get some WD-40 on that. And um, yeah, Belle, Belle's going to say hello to as many as possible. So please get your hellos in. She'll give you a shout out. Are you ready? I bet people can see that giant chat in my glasses. Yeah, it's probably. reflecting. Probably. I've got a new bit a bit of a new setup here at the minute. We've got I've installed a big TV screen right here. So now I'm operating on dual screen. I've got the YouTube chat up here. I've got you guys down here on the stream yard. It's not distracting at all. And um uh, yeah, so it also gives white light, so it might be better than using the, the lights right in our faces. Let me know what you think. It's a picture look all right. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, are you ready, Belle? Yes. Okie dokie. You ready to say hello to as many people as possible? Yes. We're off. So I've got Elaine Parks in at number one on my list. Then Keith Prozer, Picto Tech Repairs, James D, Antoinette Daly, Kevin Hawthorne, uh, Peter Ray, Fluffy the Muffin, Once Love Treasures, Deborah Nardone, uh, Limelight Vinci, Andrew Worth, Retro Hawk, Ensdem UK, Chris Tyler, Pete Charlie, Christina Cook, 
uh, Karen Evans, Del Boy Dan, uh, Movie Chats, Left Handed Hummingbird, Lynn Jeffries, Deb Bernard Doan, Helen, uh, my mum, hi mum, Kathleen Green, uh, Paul Rose, Greg, Aunt, no, no, I've said Andrew, I've said Del Boy, Bells and Moon, Tam and Bell Resell, Nathinity, Ella, uh, Flea Market. Jeff, I like the way he's took that name on. <laughs> no, no, that's my uh, name, that. Paul S, see what you buy, retro electronic repairs, uh, Dizzy J. Trying to highlight as many names as I can, but Bell's going too fast for me. Uh, Babs, hi Babs. Um, I've lost Jason Entwistle, Shabba. I think I'm at the bottom, Shabba. Oliver Ian. I'm at the bottom. Really? I'm at the bottom. It's yeah. getting easier and easier. Are we getting less and less people in? People so just want happening. me to win, that's what it is. So they're just they're just like being kind to I don't think you said hello to eighty nine people then. Where's mm. all the people who are not who are quiet and where are you? Come 89, on. It's eighty eight because one of them's me unless you want me to say hello to myself. Oh right. <laughs> I'm at the bottom now anyway. Let's wrap it up. Movie chat says it looks better. However, we get to see those bags under your eyes, Chris. There's no bags. Well, there's no bags. <laughs> right, I'm just going to quickly scoot back up, make sure I've not missed anything. Uh, you met Babs, didn't you, recently? Babs at the attic. I did meet Babs. How did that go? Um, it went lovely, actually. We put the world to right, and she's an absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely lady. So if anybody gets a chance to meet Babs, go for it. I was very much appreciative of the coffee. Thank you very much. We need to meet Babs next time. Bab needs to meet you. And that would mean me coming down to Devon. Mm -hmm. Well, if if that is what it is, then so be it. Um, right. What's, oh, I need to do this. Before I forget, I need to do something special for somebody. Fluffy Muffin is looking for puppies. No puppies today. Here we go. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> A big happy birthday to Mick Page's wife, Betty, who is 78 or was 78 last week. And um, they've actually been married 46 years. Woo! So uh, happy that birthday to Betty. Going. I think we need to do another happy birthday as well, don't Ooh. we? Because it was Kathy's birthday the other day. Was it? it was. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday to Kathy as well. Is there any others? Any others that we, that we missed? Oh, thank you, Paul. Yes, exactly that. Yeah. Laughter lines. Yep. He's forever laughing at me. At me, not with me. <laughs> uh, Elaine Park says she's missed you. Oh, I miss you too. Elaine. You were here last uh, week, te though. Te kind technically, you of, were here. Kind of a Kind of. Didn't want to leave you two weeks on the trot. I don't think we've missed anything. We're not missed any any chit chatty. Well, Fluffy said, Bell's back. How was work? Tiring. It was a long few days, but I enjoyed seeing everybody. It was nice catching up with all my work colleagues. It was nice catching up with my old neighbour. Always enjoy seeing Rachel and the family. And yeah, the course went all right. I passed, if nothing else, I passed. So that's a positive. But yeah, it did feel like I came back and I said to Chris, I said, I felt like somebody had scooped my brains out, jumped up and down on them and put them back in again. It was very, my brain was mashed. Uh, yeah, Movie Chat says, isn't it your first birthday on Whatnot this week? It is pretty much. I don't know if it's this week, though, um, You've Steve. Been going a year already. Yeah, I, we've, I've been a year on Whatnot. Jesus. That's amazing, isn't it? We, st wow. we started whatnot when we was in our other house in Devon. Remember, I was sat there in a very small space, like showing you stuff and vlogging it. And But a year on whatnot, that's crazy, isn't it? We're still going. We're still going. Well, I wasn't with you then. What? I, I wasn't. No, I was with you. I mean, I wasn't with you and whatnot then. I was not partaking in it. No, no. I'd yeah. already drew, drawn the line and said, nope. No, not getting involved in whatnot. I'm not doing it. 
I actually quite enjoy it now. Yeah, she does. I do actually she's quite enjoy it. I quite enjoy helping him. At out. some point, she's probably going to end up doing a show. No. No. She is. No, no. Why would I do that? Why, Why would I do you, that? Because you said you enjoy it. No, I enjoy helping you. Right. Okay. I enjoy helping you. I'm never doing a show. You, oh, you said never, that you would never get involved last year. <laughs> I know, but it was kind of a, it was kind of, if you can't beat him, join him at the beginning because it was another night that we weren't sitting together and doing stuff together. Mm. And I was kind of like, well, I'm not sitting on my own, so I might as well just sit and help him. And then if I'm watching and not helping, like like last week when I was working, not last week, the week before when I was working and I was watching the chat, I have to turn the chat off because it gets, I get like really anxious when he's not seeing comments and stuff and I just want to jump in and I can't because I'm working. So I, ha I literally have to not not watch the chat just to not get myself stressed out. There you go, bell for whatnot. <laughs> exactly. No, go away, Steve. Tell you go what, away. I'll do a whatnot when you do a whatnot. How about that? He probably would do it though because he's, Used to doing videos and stuff. Well, fine. If he does a whatnot, if you do a whatnot, I will do one. Okay. Let's start off with some reselling talk. Um, there is a new platform that is that has been advertising and doing the rounds, and I, I only know this because, I, I mean, I'm surprised that the person who told me about this actually was the person because Derek the tap peddler is well known to be affiliated with e by gum okay we all see it he's clearly sponsored by e by gum the amount of times he mentions it but Derek the tap peddler has been pushing a new platform and have you seen it advertised it's called jog it on jog it on the online let me have a look at the online auction marketplace instead of jog on jog it on jog it on it makes, makes no sense it makes no sense why do why why have we got this really weird sort of names has anybody had a look at this website this is the first time i'm really looking at it <laughs> um i briefly looked at um i looked at it when derek um showed us what is jog it on buy and sell your goods with confidence Tailored by you, a seamless experience using your feedback to create a marketplace that caters to your needs. That sounds like eBay. <laughs> uh, cost effective, zero seller fees and low buyer fees. Now, that's like Vinted. So the fee structure sounds like Vinted. 10% for buyer fees, but zero seller fees. Uh, what kind of stuff is on here right now? There's phone cases headphones, some electronics. Uh, there's a watch there, diesel stuff. Who are you supposed to be sharing the screen with us? Are you just... No, I'm, go I'm going to share it in All a second. Right, so I'm going to say because you're not. I just wanted to explain Jog It On. Uh, but I will screen share for you. Just give me a second. I just wanted to read this spiel off the front page. Uh, share screen. Jog It On. Bell Big Pop. <laughs> That's all he wants me to do it for. Thinks I'm going to sell you Big Pops for you. Uh, is that on now? Can you see? Yeah. We're on. Here it is. Jog it on. Uh, they've got all kinds of categories here. You've got electronics. Buy and sell on Jog it on. Who comes up with these names? <laughs> There's headphones there. There's a... Is it all auctions, you think, or is it buying now as well? Let's have, a, let's have a little look at these headphones. Buy it now. It's so that's a buy it now, 650, or you can start on an auction. Yeah, there's batteries for phones. All kinds of random stuff there. Clothes, shoes, and accessories. Uh, let's have a look at this. Primark Varsity has made it onto here. Opening bid of one pound or buy it now for 15. So you can see it's a similar format to eBay. You get the pictures here, you get the purchase information here, the descriptions over here, and that is it. That's it. So, yeah, number of views. This has had three views. 
collection locally from Leicester. So they don't post? I don't know. I guess oh, I was right. trying to read the top, but then you went off it. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, here we go. Jog it on. It's another one. Is it worth looking at? I don't know. I have I have actually been pelted with adverts for this on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I've, I looked at the website once on my phone. And you know what it's like with phones. When you look at something once, that's it. If there's any adverts linked to it, then you're going to get bombarded with them. Uh, but, yeah, feel free to go take a look. Um, obviously, Derek the Tap Peddler is now sponsored by Jog It On as well as e by Gun. <laughs> What's under toys and games? Not much. Not a lot at all. So they're very, very early stages. They've probably only got a few test sellers on here. That's it for toys and games. Nothing else by the looks of it. So look at this steering wheel. One pound start. So it said collection location, no collection. And it says five pound postage. Five pound. I didn't see if the other one I posted. Buy it now for thirty five pound. Oh well, we'll leave it up to you to uh, to decide if you think it's worth looking at. I was just looking at a comment here from Dabai Dan. Nothing to do with what you've just been saying. He said, had a tra chat with a neurologist on Saturday. Okay. Said I must have missed that. Said one. nothing to worry about, but going to do a lower head MRI. Have got a, I don't even know what that is, a cherry, cherry, cherry one malformation, but said, but said I was born with it. So most likely Meniere's disease. I've heard of that. Meniere's disease. Oh. Well, I hope everything goes all yeah. right, and I hope you're all right. Yeah, I hope everything so, yeah, goes well. Let us let us know how you get on with that. Flea Market Jeff said, I, I heard Derek gets a quid every time he mentions e by gum. <laughs> you know what? That would not surprise me. Jack's with us from across the road. Hi, Jack. Oh, here we go. Babs made an order on e by gum. Still waiting. It's been weeks. Mm. Oh. She did say she was going to message you about that. Darren. Darren, e by gum, what's going on? Babs, have you raised like a query? Because there is a help section, you know, for your orders. You need to go on the help section and sort of raise a query on it. Um, I was having a look because mm -hmm. Belle mentioned that you made an order and you were having trouble. So, yeah, that's not a good start, is it? One order, first problem. Babs says she saw me too. That was enough to scramble your brain. Do you know what, Babs? You were lovely. We had a right good old chinwag. Oh, yeah. Normally when we do these meetings with people that we don't know or people that we who are in our chat, we do it as we do it together like a joint venture. So the fact that I've done one on my own. Yeah. That was very You're branching brave. out. That was very great. You'll have your own channel soon. <laughs> no. Uh, movie chat says jog it on, jog it on now. Looks awful. <laughs> it looks fine, but there's not a lot on there, is there? Chris says Lindsay and Alvin are going to do whatnot. Haven't seen Lindsay and Alvin tonight, and I don't know if they will be in. Because mm. for anybody that doesn't know, they've had a right old week last week with their um, their little doggy. Went in to Elsa. yeah, Elsa went into the vets, and it just ended up whirlwind into a, having an emergency operation. So yeah, so if you are watching or you're watching back, sending love to you all. Hope Elsa's she is home. Or the last update I got, she was back home again. But yeah, I hope she's recovering. And you guys have caught up on some some sleep and your blood pressures have come down a bit. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. And yeah they've so had a right sad. week. It was so I was really like keeping everything cross that she was gonna come out of it because she sounded like she was literally mm, like didn't sound good, did no, it? It didn't sound good at one point, but yeah, sounds like she's a little fighter. Bab said I've emailed um e by gun but had no reply that does not bode well does it hmm. no one order in it goes tits up uh vins says what have i missed we're just talking about a brand new platform called jog it on um <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to, I've already screen shared, but if you want to go look for it, just put in jog it on. Is it dot com? Jog it on dot com. Brand new um, reselling, selling, buying, selling platform with auctions and buy it nows and stuff on. Ready but it looks like it's very early stage yet. 
Ready, steady, retro says many thanks and especially to Joan for the lovely glitter duck prize. Oh, there you go. And the box of Easter chocolate. Oh, buddies. nice. She did say she was going to send some extra, but I weren't sure what it was. Aaron Sells has popped in. Hi, Aaron. Welcome back. Always good to see you back. What does jog it on even mean? I don't know. <laughs> well, jog on means go away, doesn't it? So it doesn't let's seem tap logical. It in. <laughs> uh, let's tap it into Google. What, what does jog it on mean? We've well, it only got jog on. Yeah, that's what I mean. And jog on means go away. So it makes no sense, does it? We've answered Lisa. She said, is it only auction or can you do buy it now? You can do both buy it by now. The, both by the looks yeah. of it. Um, jog it on equals means move it on. Oh, like move it on, like sell it on. Yeah, jog it on. Mm, it's a bit of a tenuous link, isn't it? Yeah. Why didn't they just call it move it on? That would have been better, wouldn't it? Jog it on won't catch on. No. Tommy says, feels like we're on the dark web. <laughs> well, everyone has to start somewhere, don't they? Everyone has to start somewhere. The finish says, looks exactly like eBay. Very similar. Um, Chris says, is there any free tape for, for Derek? <laughs> I know, yeah. He's only interested if there's free tape. Uh, Dave ABL's popped in. Hi, Dave. Also, Martin Sheridan, welcome. Monkey Fish says, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, guys. Thank you. Bab says, have you sold anything yet, Chris? What do you mean? Are you on eBuy Gum to sell? Uh, no, I haven't got anything on eBuy Gum at the moment. And Flea Market Jeff says... Uh, you guys should be careful meeting up with people from this chat. Some of us are weirdos. <laughs> but that's why we get along. Weirdos We're all a bit weird, aren't weirdos we? Weirdos attract weirdos. It's just the way it works. Looks like the company Jog It On started in July 2023. Very new. <laughs> a ready, steady retro said there was also a beautiful congrats card and a dozen gorgeous photo cards to share the love with other people. Oh, that's Who good. Really that's very you. nice. Aww. Movie chats, uh, these those G.I. Joe pins look good next to the pops. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Steve. Thanks for your purchases. Oh, and Del Boydon says he had a severe vertigo attack. It started four years ago. Still have them, but vary in severity lost hearing in left ear and have tinnitus so now have a hearing aid do you know that's Blimey. where that's where i've heard it before because me auntie is it like here at the bottom of your head at like the top of your spine but bottom of your skull because i'm sure my auntie's mentioned something about that because my mum during lockdown my mum completely lost all her mobility because of a massive um vertigo attack lasted ages she was literally down to like a walker well she still uses sticks now because she still suffers with it um but i think that was something that was mentioned that it can be mm. but they did say hers was crystals i was right. saying it wrong crystals in your ear chris tyler says i put 12 items on ebay gum 18 days ago no sales to date well all i say chris is if you do make a sale make sure you send the item out not like the others. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can manage that. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's. Should we should we play a game? Want to play a game? Great Scott! I know this is heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Okay, let's play. This is heavy. So I'm going to show you an item in a second. And you've got to guess what the weight is in grams. Um, you must be either under or on it. If you go over, you go bust. Anyone in the world can take part. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be in Egypt. Um, you can be in South Why Africa. Egypt pops into your head. You can be in uh, Slovenia, uh, Japan, China, or Peru. I've probably used Peru before. Um, 
Anywhere in the world. If you win, if you're the closest to guess in grams what the weight is, then you're going to get um, something posted from us, a little gift, a little prize from us. So uh, are you ready? And I'm going to show you in a second. Paul says he's weird and proud of it. So am I. We're all a bit weird, though, aren't we? That's what I mean. Right. Are you ready? So I want to know in grams how much uh, Belle's shrunken head weighs. Not that one. one. I mean, it's nearly as big. <laughs> this little shrunken head. Making talk. How to do it? Pressing underneath. I could replace your head. Yeah. yeah. Hang on. There. <laughs> Bell shrunken head. Making talk. Okay. Making talk. Come on, press it. <laughs> He's laughing at you now. Oh, you should have let him do the countdown. Yeah, I could have done, couldn't I? Four, three, three and a half, two, one and three quarters. Yes. Right, I want to know how much he weighs. Um, and I'm going to start the proper countdown right Ten, now. Nine, now. Now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. She's an absolute dickhead. I'm sorry for the language. <laughs> She's just been talking to you while the countdown's been on. She's been going, all I can say is, you're all miles away. <laughs> and I'm like, they can't hear you. The countdown's on. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> right, I'm putting end in the chat. Here we go. Any entries after the word end and you are out. Here we go. That's it. Done. Yeah, hold on to your head. Yeah, he is from Harry Potter. We purchased. We actually didn't buy him secondhand. We purchased him from a rare, a, brand new buy from from the Warner Brothers Warner Brothers Studios in London. He is pretty cool, though. Right, let's see if anybody actually got. There was only one person who's winning this at the minute because they were the only person that was actually under. Was there one? Was there anyone who was under then? Yes, one. Jesus, only we nearly one, had to do it again. Only one person actually got under the amount that he was so he was 86 grams and it was babs that won <laughs> what are the odds babs well done you've won and unfortunately Gemma louise you would have won had you been before chris put end in the chat yeah Gemma louise would have got it but you were too late you were too late unfortunately so yeah so babs you are a winner was that only 86 grams? 86 grams. I'm wondering whether Belle's done that wrong. 86 I put grams. It, I pressed on. I put See, it I'd on have gone side. like 200 for that. I pressed on. I we might need to check VAR on this one. I pressed on, put it on. It said 86 grams. Okay. And then I put Sonic on and he said 300 and something grams. Right, okay. All right, well, well done, Babs. Um... Send me your address when you get a second on Instagram or Facebook, just so that I've got it. And it reminds me to send you your prize. Um, and we'll get that out for you this week. Recount, yeah. <laughs> Legend says, damn, I was out by 200, but 200 grams, but it, it does look more like 60 grams. <laughs> Babs says, no, it, it looks like, well, you would say that, Babs. Because you've, you've won it. Seriously, it is a tiny little plastic head. It's like it is, hollow. Yeah. It's it hollow is. with a bit of hair. That's all it is. Remember, Belle has scrambled brains, says Tam and Belle. Shush now. Oh, you are skating on thin ice, Tam. If, you, if I said that, I'd have got a clock round the head. If you don't like my counting, go down the stairs and do it yourself. Nah, I'm good. And anyway, I'm going to blame your, blame your scales if it's wrong. Uh, once love says I was going to go light but I thought it might have double A batteries in it oh, that's a good point now maybe that's where people <laughs> went wrong 
Jim. No, we were gonna um we were gonna do Sonic down here, but I'm not we at the last minute Bell decided to go for the shrunken head. I didn't I gave him two options and he went for the shrunken head, actually. If I'm remembering that conversation. Well no, because you wanted to do it, that's why. Um I thought okay. be, I thought yeah, I thought it'd be something different and it caught you all out. It did. It, we nearly had to rerun the game because only one person did it. We'd have had to have done Sonic. <laughs> uh, okay, um, let's do some thank yous before we move on. I'm going to th thank all our uh, members. Oh, hang on a second. That's a good point. I wonder what back out. Do you know what? I think it's... Oh, no, no, it has got a thing in it. Okay. Hey? I was like, is it one of them where if the batteries run out, you can't do anything? But it's got a tiny little compartment, so it must be um, like the watch batteries that go in it. Uh, yeah, they're only little button three, batteries. Yeah, three, three little button batteries go in it. I forgot to upload the new list, so I'm just doing that now. Just and if I ever seconds. decide to get rid of Harry Potter collection, he'll be in it. I don't think you should get rid of it. You need to stop moving on that damn chair. You don't. You need to not give me a squeaky. New chair. list. There you go. Quick as that. Um, thank you to. Oh, I can't see the top one now. Is that? Can't see the top one <laughs> because of the stupid live thing. Uh, Matt sells stuff. I think that is. Um, Thank you to Matt Sellstuff, Glamour's Closet, Paul Daubney, GT Prelove, Chris Smith, Rachel Nash, Phil Higginson, Tam and Bell, Resell, Secret Carper, Hillary Rhodes, Steve-O, Anything Vintage, Amma Reseller, it's Queenie Conquest, Tap Peddler, Resell Oasis, Shabba, uh, Mick Page, Drink and Dive, uh, The Monkey Thrift, The Retro Electronic Repair, The Dave, uh soul steps santa aka jeff i have to do that free market jeff next time andrew milburn sb reselling emsden uk andy incognito craig wood Cy, keith pitko yorkshire mix george's treasure shed once loved treasures and tango two pints thank you all so much for being part of our vip family it's very much appreciated um, and if you anyone wants to join our VIP, it's two ninety nine a month. That's less than the price of a, a coffee. And um, you get loads of stuff. You get all that stuff uh, for your money. And the main thing is the Discord entry. We have a really great group of Discord members. All those people that you saw previous, all these people are on the Discord. And um, we all help each other with anything that we need assistance with. Or we just have random chat. Mm -hmm. Gem says she's gutted now. See, because she just came in after the thing and would have won. Oh, uh, yeah, you were, you were just a little bit too late, Gemma. Paul sounds like he's multitasking. He says he's never tried listing whilst watching slash listening to a stream and commenting. He's got two screens, think he needs three. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Well, to be fair, we've got a big TV on a laptop and my uh, iPad. <laughs> So, yeah, we've got three on. Yeah, I've got my nice new screen here, which doubles up for ne watching Netflix while working. Mm, I'm pretty sure that's just what it said. What is that? Oh, I thought that was the TV. It's the background oh, yeah. that's on the thing. It's the it? background from me. Um, yeah, I thought it here. was your TV. Yeah, I, I, I did for a looking. minute as well. For what the hell's that? Um, <laughs> yeah, this right. is what happens when I'm not when I'm not here, when I'm away for a week. He buys yeah. himself new toys. Oh, but I had a right drama with it. I bought the first what the first TV I bought was on Facebook Marketplace, which was fine. I went and got it. I paid fifty quid for this TV, and it was it was a little bit too small, and it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to work because I wanted it as a second screen for my uh, for my MacBook as well, and it didn't really function properly like that. So I ended up I've ended up relisting that on Facebook Marketplace to vlog it again. So if anyone wants a TV. If anyone wants a 24-inch flat screen LED thing, then let With me know. With a DVD player in it. And it's got a DVD player in um, it. Yeah, so I bought that, and it didn't really work what for what I wanted it. So I've listed that on Facebook. I bought another telly from Curry's. I just went for, you know what, I'm just going to buy a brand new one. Got it from Curry's. Got it back, and I set it up, 
and it was making this really bad buzzing noise. You know, like the sound when you have too much bass and it makes that crackling sound, that rattling sound. Well, it wouldn't stop doing that. So um, I took it back, got my money back. I ordered one from Argos, which is this one, which is miles better than all the others. So I'm really pleased that I've got this one because it is miles better. Do you realise that was the universe telling you not to buy one? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was an exhausting week for TVs. So you know what will happen to this one? He'll knock the table and it'll fall off and land on him. <laughs> Paul says, if you've ever wanted to moan about buyers on eBay and their stupidity, the Discord is the place to be. <laughs> yes, that is it's true. It's a safe place. That's all we'll say. It's a safe, safe place. place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Claire's joined us. Hi, Claire. Could you read enough the screen there? You're Why finding not? that easier now. Is that it's easy? massive. It's massive. I can see that. Mind you, it's better than you having your head down in That's the thing. That's what I'm seeing. You're always saying that. I've got my head yeah. down. Maybe it's but... just for the opening you need to use that. Yeah. Oh, existential crisis bobs in i nearly but mm. you know i nearly brought him to the chat to show you and i didn't that's a shame i'm gonna just sit here in the corner and chill out for a bit oh i did that a few times during that course i'm basically now trained on a national system that was designed by a one-eyed male frog i'm gonna say male i'm gonna put it out there because it certainly wasn't female and it certainly wasn't a person who created it but I'm now trained on it. Uh, right, let's move on. Let's talk some more reselling content, okay? So, um, you know, like last week and the week before, eBay's been really glitchy. It's been really slow. Well, for me anyway, you know, some people have had great weeks. You know, it, it swings in roundabouts. But um, I've had a couple of very quiet weeks on eBay. It's picking up now. But I took the opportunity, you know, after we were having that conversation last week about, eBay fees going up and, you know, how, how much higher do you want do, are the fees going to go before you start saying, you know, what, I'm going to have to make a change. Anyway, I decided that while eBay was very, very quiet and glitchy, I decided to shut down my promotion. I have, a, I have had a 10% promotion, capped 10% promotion set for the last probably six months since the ebay since ebay open i changed it after some advice and uh, i had that left for around six months and i decided while it was glitchy and quiet to turn it off and then the next day i changed it and i've gone capped at eight percent this time instead of ten percent so i'm gonna see it's only been running a few days so i have to let it bed in and see how it goes but yeah, I've reduced my um, promoted listings uh, down from 10% to 8%. That's the first time I've done that for a long time. But I just thought I'd give it a whirl. Alison says she's had the worst week ever. A lot of people have had bad weeks. And uh, yeah, last week was really bad for me. It's probably my worst week of my living memory as a full-time reseller. Tamar Bell said it's made by the same person who made the post office one, man. Glitchy. Uncle Albert says not as glitchy as whatnot. I don't think anything's as glitchy as whatnot. Uh, Paul Rose said it's been dead for me the last two weeks, Chris. Worrying. Yep. Emma Resell, it's in. Welcome. Yeah. I'm a reseller. Or is it Emma Resell? I'm going to say I'm a reseller. It makes more sense if it's I'm a reseller. I know, but the way I read it is Emma Resell. Yeah, but go I'm and check out his videos. By the way, he's been thrifting in different countries, places. I think he's in he's been Thailand uh, at the moment. Uh, you know, doing some thrifting out there, which is very interesting. You'd expect, sorry, babe. Um, you'd expect that most of the stuff you'd end up getting in Thailand is going to be like fake, but no, he's been going to like thrift stores and stuff like that, which is really interesting. He said it's the first one. I'm a reseller. I don't know what you said. I don't know what I said first, so that, that <laughs> means nothing to me. Uh, one, sorry, go on, you go. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking over it. It's fine. I'm just going to sit here and stay quiet. Go. go. I don't know where you're up to. I'm on that one. Once Love Treasure says, I think the trick is um, you make the changes rather than what the change is when it comes to promotions. Change your promo over a couple of months. Yeah, but you see, Paul, I used to, I used to change my promo on a regular basis. And then I went to the eBay open and I sat down and I spoke to somebody who actually works in the promos, whatever department. And his advice was to 
set up a promo and leave it running for maybe a year or so and then close it down and start again. Uh, he said that's the most optimum way of dealing with promos. So, And it's been working fine until the last few weeks when it all started glitching out and then sales dipped and uh, the eBay app went crazy. I, c I couldn't list anything. Um, all the prices were going mental on the app. It was it was obviously it was affecting my account. Um, so I just took that opportunity to change it up. And I'll probably leave this at eight percent now. I'll just leave that one campaign running for for the foreseeable until I decide to change it again. But yeah, it, people do different things. I used to change it every week, and then I, then I change it every month. Uh, but in the end. I just took eBay's advice and I just decided to leave it. Uh, Alison said, I've started using Dynamic and set it at 7% to see how that goes. Worth a try. Your turn to talk now, Bell. I can see you waiting. No, I'm just reading the chat. You want to read out any comments and I'll highlight it? Mm, no, I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monkey Thrifter, read that one out. I don't know where you're up to. Yeah, right that. at the bottom. I don't actually like looking, reading off that one. Oh, you can read that off here. It's because your eyesight's shit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, Monkey Thrifter, there he is. Uh, he said he's had a great week and been away for a few days, so hasn't listed anything for over a week. I know I've been following you on Facebook, you've had a fantastic week. I had just sold this minute a camera going to Slovak Slovakia for four, for 40 quid. Nice. Weird, isn't it? Someone in Slovakia decided to buy your camera. Just find it bizarre sometimes. Uh, last week was a bit lower than normal, but still on track to finish around the same as last year. We'll be interesting to what my costs are this year as average sale price is up, so it should be okay. That's good, Dan eBay app's been running slow for Lisa. Uh, ABL says, I've dropped my promo rate to 5% and I've actually seen an increase in sales. Then again, I'm concentrating more on only listing things that people want to buy. <laughs> yeah, that would help, Dave. Definitely, that would help. Uh, yeah, I'm down to 8%. So uh, at the moment, it's it's been a, an av and probably I would say an average week on eBay for me this week. Um, so I'm happy with that, considering that I've dropped my promo to 8%. Uh, Andrew Worth says, all my drafts either lost the price or set to recommended price last week. Gave up trying. Um, I uh, I had a similar thing when I was, I was drafting on desktop. And when I went to do the photos on, on the app, the information would change. So the prices were changing when I was going over to the app. It was proper weird. Also, photos were struggling. They were taking 10, 15 minutes to load each photograph. It's a bloody nightmare. I know it's not affected everyone, but it certainly, uh, it certainly hit me. Uh, Shabba says, I don't promote on 80% of my listings and sales are a bit more. But I may look at it again at the weekend. I mean, if your sales are not going so well, Shabba, then, you know, maybe try it again. Problem is you get sucked in on them. And once you start, there's, there's just no way out. Paul says, have you had all your listings disappear yet? First time happened to me, both accounts were not. I think that happened to a lot of people, Paul, but they kind of appeared back up again very, very quick. I think mean, eBay are ob obviously making some changes in the background. And, um, yeah, that's why they probably um, switched off the listings for a minute. Tam's put their bell to hit a 500 subs on a channel today. Well done, Well Belle. done, Bell. Yeah, I remember when you first started that, when we were sharing the love. So, well done. That's a really good, that's a really good number to have hit. She can't quite believe it. <laughs> a lot of people looking at them, Chris. No buyers yet. I've sent out quite a lot of offers, but I'm guessing a lot of people who have watched the videos are watching the coats to see what happens to them. Um, I've not listed them all yet. I've only listed about 12 or so. I've got more to list, but also I've found some damaged 
um, coats as I've been going through them. Um, a couple of bits of damage. So I'm going to list those as leather scrap because somebody said it's a good idea, you know, like if it's genuine leather, then you can you can get money for them just as like for crafters who cut, chop them up and make things out of the leather and stuff. So I can hopefully still make some money out of those that are busted up. Um, on a positive note, uh, the company I bought those from actually came across the video. Have I mentioned this last week or is it? As it did it happen no, it since happened. last week? Oh, okay. So, yeah, here's an update then on the leather coat thing. The company who I bought them from um, stumbled across my video and they messaged me and they, you know, gave the usual sort of apology. Um, and they also gave me credit for the cost of cleaning the coats. Um, but also, you see, I bought, I, I did, a, I didn't do a video on the previous order I bought from them, which was a big job lot of barber coats, and they also needed cleaning. So I paid, how much did I pay to clean those ones? Five pounds a check. Five pounds. It was a hundred quid. I paid a hundred pounds to clean twenty barber jackets, and also I paid two hundred and thirty pound to clean all those leather jackets because it was 23 jackets at £10 a pop. So that was £330 that I spent cleaning up the jackets of the two orders. And this company contacted me and said, look, as a goodwill gesture, um, we will send, we will give you some credit for 330 quid for all your cleaning costs. We'll put credit in your account if you want to buy something else from us. So I have ordered again from them to <laughs> to use up the credit. I've ordered something a bit more conventional, a bit more what I'm used to dealing with. So I've ordered a a job lot of 50 NFL, NBA, USA sports jerseys. Uh, I've ordered 50 of those. So it was very generous of them to, to contact me and do that. Um, at the end of the day, they've not done it. I don't believe they've done it in order to gain any kudos because I haven't mentioned their name at any point and I don't mm -hmm. intend to. And it's not even like that you'd gone back and complained. To them, I didn't complain. It? I didn't send them a message of complaint. I didn't say I demand my money back. These are terrible. You know, I didn't do any of that because actually I was reasonably happy with the leather jackets in the end because they came out OK. Um so, yeah, they just contacted me and said, we're going to give you 330 quid. Um, and also they said, here's a code as well that you can use on top to give mm -hmm. you another 25 quid off. So, yeah, the bonuses of of sharing your journeys on YouTube. Um, I got a bit of good luck with that one. Um, and of course, maybe not everybody gets that because you don't not everyone shares what they find on YouTube. But also, I do believe they didn't do it based on a promotional point of view Be they just did it as a bit of good customer service which it it is because i've now ordered another one and it's cost me a bit more money on top so i've spent like another 100 quid on top and um yeah maybe at some point they're hoping you'll actually uh, yeah. be happy and then go back and buy stuff at some point they're probably hoping that i'm gonna say hey this is who i bought from go and buy but um i'm kind of at the moment i'm going through a bit of a period of i'm not promoting any of the vintage wholesale places like publicly because the the experience you get from them is so varied um one order can be great the next order can be terrible and the number of people that message me it's probably the most common question i get on instagram and youtube is can you recommend any uh, clothing wholesalers is probably the question I get most out of anything. Mm -hmm. And I always say to people, I don't recommend anyone. It doesn't matter if I've done YouTube promos for them in the past or not. I will not give a name and say to anybody, go to them. They're the best. Because 
you just never know what you're getting. It's so difficult to find a clothing wholesaler where you consistently get good stock. Not without going hand picking it anyway. Yeah, hand picking is the way forward. I always say to people, hand pick or video pick. Hand pick preferably because video picks, you can still get fakes from video picks because you can't truly see on a video whether something is genuine or not. Anyway, I've waffled enough. What what comments have we got, babes? Lisa's just put e eBay did her over. They sided with a customer and gave them a refund. What was the circumstances, Lisa? Let us know. Um, because you can appeal it, you know. Oh, Elaine says a daughter started her volunteer role at the local community cafe last Thursday. Oh, well, I hope it went well. Good Elaine. luck. Yeah, I hope I hope she's enjoyed it. Alison says, Oh my god, that's brilliant. That's very generous of them. Said Dig Vintage, blimey. Yeah, and Jeff says the same. And yeah, I did not mention their name, Jeff. It wasn't a promotional thing. Very good customer service. Yeah, and it you know, based on that, uh, you know, and they even refunded me the cleaning on the one that I didn't even make a video on it, you know. Lindley and Jeffy says that's very kind. So as a result, that. The power of YouTube, well done. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like, how did they even find it? Have you told them? I didn't tell them. I didn't even tell them I made a video. But they obviously recognised what I'd bought. Yeah, but did you, like, give, tell them your YouTube channel? No, you wouldn't have done, would you? Because you haven't seen them face to face. No, not had a conversation, really. Bizarre. So they're clearly monitoring. Yeah, they're clearly looking at and looking yeah. to see if people are putting stuff out there. Mm. Channel Lem's joined us. Hello. Um, he said NBA jerseys should do well with it coming up to summer. Jones with us. Hi, Joan. She says she's a bit behind, but she's listening while eating. That's the best way to watch us. And I just want to say thank you to Joan, right? Because Joan always puts comments especially on the podcast videos. She's really been enjoying the podcast. So thank you so much, Joan. And when she writes a comment, she, it's always very, very um, in-depth. And she says why she likes it. And she, she gives a lot of encouragement to the people coming on the podcast. So thank you, Joan. It's very, very kind of you. I really appreciate that. You're better than me, Joan. I hate writing comments. I do. If ever I have to give feedback and write stuff, I am one of them that will put the bare minimum. I'm so lazy when it comes to stuff like that. Alison says, I had one from Fleek and it had rat poo in the box. Mm. And we, on an item, it was disgusting. I had to fight to get a 50 euro refund. Crikey. That is bad. Silence. Oh, is Belle not? He's just looking there. Is Belle not well? Oh, is she not well? Tam and Bella said she's watching Elaine, but she's got a sore head, so no chat. Oh, hope you're feeling okay, uh, oh, Belle. Yeah, I hope yeah. you're feeling okay. Hope you feel better soon. Lisa says GSP. it was a GSP sale for a jacket because they were complaining about issues with it. But I put all this in the listing and took pictures, and they said they would not do anything. Um, I, I'm, Have you tried getting onto eBay for business? on facebook because they're really good at resolving stuff like that i'd be appealing that really if you've listed everything that was wrong with it then i'd be appealing that Tom, um george's treasure shed said i always get lovely comments from joan she does she really takes the time to to give a proper comment i mean not that i don't appreciate everybody's comment but when you look at joan's comments you know it's very, very thoughtful. She said, thanks, Chris. I love the podcast. And stem here, here, Joan, absolute legend. Tom and Bell said, Joan, so nice and supportive. Lots of love going out there for Joan. ABL says, test your YouTube power by saying, I've bought all this food from Tesco and I have to cook it myself <laughs> just in case a Tesco boss finds one of your videos. Yeah, I don't think Tesco give a toss. Jeff said, I'm sure I'm not I'm sure I'm not the only one who laughed out loud at the start of that short video. What have I done? Then cheered when they were all ready to sell at the end. <laughs> Did you really cheer though, Jeff? I think most people hope that it's gonna be a complete disaster. People just a lot of people like want you to fail, don't they? A lot of people want failure. 
Oh, you're never going to sell them. They'll, they're only worth £10 at best. You know, some of the comments you get, people just want you to fail. Joan says she's blushing now. Praise, where praise is due, Joan. Thanks, Pitco. See you soon. Good luck with the duck race, she says. Lisa said, yes, she has, and they were the ones who wouldn't help her. All oh, right, okay. Maybe you've come to the end of the line then. That's 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 bad though, isn't it? They were, Jeff. They were a total mess. Sandra says she's enjoying the podcast. Yeah, as thank well. you, Sandra. Appreciate it. Another one this week. Um, we're just I'm just trying to firm up the day and time because it's an overseas podcast. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna firm that up. Right, let's talk about the main headline of today's show, which was have I've just done that. No. Oh, right. <laughs> um, I finally decided after much to and fro in um, the how I'm going to proceed this year with my business structure. Remember, a few weeks ago, I was talking about uh, VAT limited company. What shall I do? And I've gone to and fro, and I've been monitoring very, very closely my um, twelve month turnover just to see sort of how close I was getting to the 85K. And actually, I was still a little bit off it. Um, so I was reasonably confident going, once I'd hit 12 months on whatnot, which is roughly around now, that I was getting a true reflection of 12 months at this point. So that coupled with the fact that they're about to change it to 90k instead of 85 it would have been nice if they'd have gone to 100 wouldn't it um i'm going to stick as i am for now i don't think it's worth having thought very very carefully and got advice from lots of different people i don't think it's worth me going on the vat at the moment not this year anyway i never say never and maybe it'll be something that um, we'll see how this next year goes and maybe it'll be for next year. But I just don't see, I'd have to be going over the 100K to make it worthwhile. And I don't think it's worth it because when you go over, you've really got to go properly over it. And I don't, I would have to do like more whatnot shows and stuff to do that. And I don't want to do I don't want all my evenings to be taken up with whatnot shows. I'm quite happy with my current income as it is. I'm doing better than I've ever done. I'm not greedy. Um, and I'm not somebody who wants to be earning hundreds of thousands of pounds. It, that's not the motivation I have. I want to have a nice life. I want to enjoy my time with my beautiful wife. That's bonus points for later, babe. <laughs> Uh, that's that's a motivation for me. I'm not interested in 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 being, you know, quarter of a million, half a million pound seller. It doesn't interest me. So um, at the moment, I'm, I'm I'm really happy with my current turnover. The 90k now gives me a little bit of breathing space for the next year, and we'll see how it goes. Um, and who knows? Maybe this time next year we'll review it again. Maybe we'll end up going limited. Maybe it's we'll end up. To say this time next year we'll be millionaires. Maybe we'll end up registering for that halfway through this year if things, you know, would go amazingly well. But at the moment, I don't feel like I need to because I've still got a buffer. I've still got a buffer on the eighty-five, but now it's going to ninety. It gives me a bigger buffer, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, I don't need to. If I was gonna smash, if I was gonna smash over a hundred k, here's what I'd have to do. I think I would probably need to get more stock or have a different system going. That could then mean that I would probably need to um, purchase some kind of outside storage, you know, a unit, a container, an office space, in order to house such stock. That then incurs more costs. I'd have seven six seven percent vat to pay on a flat rate system i'd also have additional accountants costs to pay on that um so when you add all that up along with the fact that i'm gonna have to work a lot harder than i am right now to get over 100k then it doesn't really make 
it doesn't really make too much sense for me right now. But in a year's time, I'll review it again and we'll and we'll see where we are. There you go. That's my spiel over. I've decided to do nothing <laughs> and stay as I am. And I'm I'm pretty happy with that decision because I was really torn, wasn't I? Me, I, my this is, mind. This has been months worth. Oh, deliberating. It's it's, over it's this. proper stressed me out. This because what not basically pushed me right up close. Um, my turnover was more. Um, what with what not? You have to accept that pretty much your your profit margins are going to be smaller, so you have to turn over more to make more. Um, so it was stressing my stressing me out that I was getting that close, but then it kind of hit a peak that was still I still had a buffer on the eighty five, so I was happy. That, I still don't know if what not's going to stay. Forever. Oh yeah, who knows? What not could die a death. Who knows? But the jog it on could be the next big thing. <laughs> or e by gum. <laughs> we still got to have that conversation with Darren from e by gum. We're going to do a podcast with them. So I'm I'm very very happy with where I am for the for for twenty twenty. Four twenty-five, but next year in a year i will reassess and see again where i'm up to but everyone's circumstances are different thank you to everybody who gave me loads of great advice i i was really to in and fro in so much when i stressed me out a lot that that decision stressed me out yeah and um it kind of the tipping point was the 90k so it's only 5k but actually it just gives you a little bit of breathing space yeah it might go up again it could maybe next year it'll shift again it'd be nice if it if that was to go up to 100k that would just give everyone who's who's close a nice bit of breathing space really sure retro said the lever coat video was hilarious because his face was priceless oh no tell me about it paul's just had a sale nothing well great, done paul helps i dig vintage says about time to put yeah it's been like seven eight years hasn't it it's been a while Oh, Kathy's only just joined us. So, what, Kathy? You missed it at the beginning. We'll have to do it again. Yeah. What? He'll get there. Don't worry. He'll get there. We've done this once already, yeah, Kathy. So you've had it twice. Here, so she's gonna have to. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday! Nice to be back. Thank you, Kathy. Back properly. Was me just being a guest last week not enough? Uh, JLL says, uh, enjoy your videos. Lots of pros and cons with the VAT man, but I'd, I'd stay just under. I think it's right for me at the minute. Everybody's business is different, okay? And um, uh, everyone's sort of way of working is different. I'm lucky is that my overheads in my business are very, very low. I don't have any storage costs. I don't have any staff costs. And um, items that I source, I look for higher margin, higher value. Um, so I'm pretty happy with my model at the moment. The minute I start introducing more costs like storage units and stuff like that, it gets more difficult. So I'm pretty happy at the minute. ABL thinks it's a pointless increase. Because so, if you're anywhere near it, 5K is a relatively small figure. It is a small figure, but gives you some breathing space. Once also says your time and enjoyment of life are the most valuable most valuable commodities. Yes, we all have bills to pay, but we all need to have a life too. Really says it's, it's definitely not a pointless move though, Dave. Five five K is better than nothing. And it's kind of helped me make my decision now. Um, because like I said before, for me to like smash over a hundred K, I got I gotta do some different stuff. And I've got to work harder and i don't want to work harder i want to spend more time with her rather than with this one What's i want it? wants me to cook more for him I, honest to god i, I just value <laughs> i just value that stuff more than and i'd have to do like i'd have to do like two or three whatnot shows a week and that's like half my evening's gone isn't it that's no good is it gotta do it with you I know, but that's no good. As it stands, I quite enjoy them. I'd say, let's go, let's do oh, two for or fuck's three sake. a week. <laughs> <laughs> Only what not, though. Only yeah. Whatnot. I don't know. Everyone's uh, Dave gave me loads of great advice. And um, 
this time next year, maybe I'll change my mind and yeah. I'll and I'll take some other advice. Lana well, says sometimes you just have to remember you're happy as you are. Yeah, I am actually. Cameron Bell said good choice. Dig says I don't understand why the threshold is so low. It must be a real barrier for lots of businesses to go for growth. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would have been a good it's kind move of, it's to not, take it up higher than that, wouldn't it? It's kind of like in between where it's not low, but it's not massive either, is it? So it's like that in between where you've either got to be medium sized or, like you said, you've got to absolutely push through and become a whole lot bigger to make it worthwhile. Yeah. But I'm glad you've made a decision. ABL Dave says, are you finding what not profitable? It's definitely profitable and it's it definitely helps with your cash flow, Dave. Especially if you don't have a lot of like stock, then it might not be great because it really helps in moving stock quickly. So if you're buying in stock and then immediately dealing with it, then what not might all might not always be great for that but if you've got a lot of back stock then it's good for releasing some of that and getting the cash flow going um i've done in 12 months about what did i say i did last time i've done more since then i must be pushing somewhere around this is a complete guess 15k on whatnot it might even be closer to 20 now because the last time i looked but the one thing you said that is really good your business account is as is the highest it's been in yeah. a long time cash flow is good at the moment so so that that buffer in his account is there because the money's coming straight back in and it, having that extra cash flow then means i can go and buy bigger deals from people which i have done on numerous occasions i can buy bigger a bigger spending power you'll know about that dave um and you know when opportunities come along you can pick them up uh without worrying too much about your cash flow so it definitely is good for that but the profit margins are smaller yeah definitely smaller you've got to appreciate that um you are almost certainly going to get less for it than you would on eBay. Not always, but almost certainly. I think it's just the way WhatNot has been built. It's just it's just now got this, everybody's looking for a cheap deal mm. on it. That is, that is it. People do not want to spend a lot of money on items on WhatNot. So there's no point in trying to sell stuff, like high value stuff that you want to to get good prices for because it's just not going to happen. And I think as long as you understand that and you have that mentality, mm. you do do well in it. You just need to look for the right items. It's a fine balance in it between good quality items, but what you've not paid a lot for, so you're at least getting some profit on them. Yeah. But I, with whatnot, I try to work on um, like minimum three times what I've paid. Um, if I can get more than three times what I've paid, I'm I'm fairly happy with that. I mean, you mentioned about the time it takes you to do it, but the actual setting up of it... The time's not is, too bad, is Dave. Not too no, bad, it's not is too it? bad, Yes, you do a three-hour show in an evening. Mm. But it's class, it's part of your working day, isn't it? Sometimes when you're doing a whatnot show in the evening, we'll have a bit of time through the day, won't we, where yeah. we're doing other stuff. So yeah. it's just moving this working day around. That's all. Yes, some days you just do the whole freaking day and the whole night. But And also, like, if I do, like, a three-hour show on whatnot, I can do anything from what's the... If I do a clothing show, like, 300 quid, if I do... Like I've done the most I've done in one show is is nine hundred pound in one in one three hour show, and that's a fair chunk to turn over in three hours. Okay, it's a you know you've got a bit of time afterwards for packaging it. It's not so bad if it's clothing, but if it's collectibles and toys, it's a freaking nightmare. But can you not turn that off? Because you can literally hear that on the other side. I know who's on Discord and who's not watching the show. Um. So, yeah, it, you know, on average, I probably do about 500 quid in one whatnot show. So 
it pumps in quite a nice little boost to your to your uh, income. Uh, Dave also says, uh, what not sponsored the summit and I'm more convinced now than ever that it's not a long term platform. Oh, that's interesting, Dave. Um, it, it wouldn't surprise me if what not struggle long term as well, because at the moment, their strategy for advertising is nothing short of crap. <laughs> um, and if e I keep saying this, and if eBay suddenly decide to um, come out with their live selling platform, it will blow whatnot out of the water. I'm absolutely sure of it. So, yeah, I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are, Dave. Send me a message afterwards. Gordon said, not greedy, Chris. Greed is good. Gordon the Gecko. Mm -hmm. I think that might be um, uh, Jeff the Flea Market Man. Do you know what? I'm going to sit here. I do apologise, guys, right, because you've got such a bad host tonight. He's got things pinging left, right and centre. I've turned it off. <laughs> Your phone was bleeping, your watch is bleeping, your blooming computer is bleeping. That must be really annoying, so I do apologise. You're normally better prepared than that. I know. Del Boy says, well done, you. Well done. You would have had to do a lot more if VAT registered. No point working every day and night just for the money to lose your life to work. Always outnumbered, never outgunned, says, I have a turnover of around the 75K mark, so the increase to 90K is a welcome boost, but could be more. Yeah, it would have been nice if they'd have just gone a little bit further with it. You know, 95 or even 100, I think, would have been a magic number for a lot of people um, to, you know, to, to allow them to grow, but, you know, not. To, to a reasonable level because i think 100k as a sole trader without vat that's a nice number because if you're operating on say a 50 percent you know margin it gives you a nice number as a sole trader you know for a, a reasonable standard of living mm. you know above the uk average standard um Standard of living. JL of trading says same, just me and my spare room for storage. Work smart and not harder, as they say. That's what he keeps telling me. It's his new motto. Fairground Funfairs. That's a new name. Not heard that name before. Chris, greed is good. If you don't buy the stuff first, someone else will, mate. I'm not greedy at all. So I don't I we don't like to share the love. I don't subscribe to that Fairground Funfairs, but you're welcome to the show yeah. and thank you for commenting. But I don't subscribe to that um, to that mindset. I do all right. I'm happy. There's enough to go around, we always say. Lim thank you for subscribing. You're probably yeah. unsubscribed now. But <laughs> I'm just saying that that's not my mindset, but I understand anybody who, yeah. who has that mindset. It depends if you've got really high... If you've got a big drive yeah, and ambition, yeah. it's different. I don't have big drive and ambition. I'm, I'm happy to have a nice life. And I'm not bothered about having a mansion and and doing, you know, having three houses and stuff. I mean, I would like a second house, That'd don't get me wrong. Thing. But, yeah. Uh, Lin Lin says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Once Love Treasure says most of your money is in buying soda pops. <laughs> uh, long story short, hi Rob. Um, at what point does quid become pounds? Um, quid is a pound. It's the same thing, Rob. And um, there's no definitive. It depends how you like to talk. I guess like how Americans use books and dollars. It just depends how you want to say it. A quid and a pound is all the same thing. Uh, Ready Steady says, I just see what not as a low profit race to the VAT threshold for many uh, currently from what I hear on YouTube. Yeah, I guess it depends how you operate on what not. I think there are different models of seller and what not. And what I've discovered is there is different ways of selling. And that is like how you procure your stock. Um, you know, do you actually buy it? Or do you do a profit share? Because I'm pretty sure there's some people who don't actually have to buy their stock. Mm. They profit share on stuff that they sell and therefore never actually own the stock. Um, but, yeah, there's different ways of doing it. Um, I have like a rule on pretty much that I stick to on whatnot. And that is a rule on a cost of goods. 
and um if it doesn't meet a threshold then it doesn't go and whatnot because i know that the margins are smaller kathy said there more flow in the business account due to the lack of car boots no spending in the wet field yeah lana's got a good point whether it's long term uh, or not just make the most of it while it lasts yeah and i guess it's another reason why i didn't want to necessarily go all in on the limited company vat route and that because it was largely based on income from whatnot and if whatnot suddenly went kaput or it died off or you know whatever then that a large slice of income would have gone out and i would no longer really have had the requirement for that yeah you can deregister for that but if i'd have gone limited company that's a that's a ball ache to change that and you know the costs involved in being a limited company are also there so i didn't feel like the benefits were outweighing you know the whole thing you were right fairground fun bears has just subscribed to us so thank you so much for that you're way behind that chat, babe. No, I just go through because you skip over. So I go back and just try and pick up the ones you've missed. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, eBay are trialing live selling in the USA. Yeah, they are, Dave. I've seen some of their shows. I can't see how that wouldn't spell the end of whatnot. Um, yeah, I, I've I've had phone, I've had video calls with people from whatnot, like my my rep or my contact or whatever, and I've said to him. You've got to move quick. You've got to have a big enough market share of this live selling stuff before eBay decide to walk in and blow you out of the water because that's what's going to happen. I'm convinced of it. I'm, I'm absolutely with you on this, Dave. I'm convinced that will happen unless what not do a vintage style advertising campaign and absolutely hammer the TV adverts, um, you know, do some yeah, big sponsorships. Do some big um, TV sponsorships with, no you know, one's shows. Heard about it. If you ever say to somebody, anybody, you just go. No one's heard of it. You just go, oh, have you ever heard of whatnot? I've not come across a single person no. yet. If you, if you say to any young people, oh, have you tried the whatnot app? They've never heard of it. I must admit, anyone I have mentioned to and then signposted to it, then becomes addicted like the rest of us. But the fact is, no one's finding it. No one knows about it. Their advertising campaign is terrible, really, right now. The danger with whatnot, and I'm slagging them off a little bit here, like you, Dave, but and but I have had success with whatnot this last year. I don't know if that was it's because I got in early or not. It's not slagging them off. It's pointing out the obvious. You know, the obvious is that if they don't start promoting it and they don't start yeah. growing it, it is going to die a death. It's just they can't they they can't keep their platform running if they haven't got people coming to buy or sell yeah. or whatever else you want people to do. Yeah. Like you said at the moment, it feels like it's just a whole lot of resellers buying from other yeah. resellers. There's, you know, they, there's probably a lot less people that are there like me who aren't necessarily resellers who are just purchasing for themselves yeah i bought stuff for myself i bought a hat the other day that was for me and i bought stuff for my collection mm -hmm. in the back here that's for me but you can tell when you're in the chat just from the names usually yeah you, the names are usually something to do with selling of some sort and then you can normally tell by just they're not buying one size they're buying all sorts of sizes and stuff like that but so. i do i do think dave is right i think dave is right if ebay suddenly you know, ramp up the live selling in the UK, uh, which, by the way, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it happen because uh, I'd be first in there to have a go at it. Mm. Um, I think could spell the end for whatnot. And I think you could end up seeing a lot of people move from whatnot to eBay. The problem with whatnot as well is a lot of people go on. Um, they end up selling stuff for a pound or two pound. Um, and get disheartened with the sales get disheartened with the profit margins because if you're selling something for a pound here's the reality if if a seller like me sells something for a pound it's going to cost me 59p or no i'm only going to earn 59p out of that pound so basically half now obviously as you as your sale price goes up um, the cost of selling becomes less because what happens is the the fees on whatnot are eight percent to whatnot, two point nine percent processing fees. So that's 
10.9%. Uh, plus, this is the killer one, and it doesn't sound like a lot of money, plus 30p for every item sold. So if you sell something for £1, you've got 11%, so that's 11p, plus you've got 30p for that item as a per item sale cost. So that's 41p it's costing you to send an, sell an item for a pound. So you're actually only making 59p on a pound item. And the chances are almost everything that you've, there's nothing that costs you less than 59p that you're selling and whatnot, unless you got it free. Because if you bought a, a t-shirt from a charity shop, it's cost you more than 59p. If you bought a t-shirt wholesale, and, you, and it sold for a pound, it's cost you more than 59p. It's cost you a minimum of a pound. So you're losing money at that. However, I always say with whatnot is that if you do sell stuff for a pound, you've got to try and think of it as a loss leader. And that I say that because once somebody has bought their first item, um, the postage gets drastically reduced on future items. So it kind of convinces people to stick around and see what else they see, because like the first item is like two pound seventy. Now, once they bought one item, so say they got an item for a pound, it cost them two pound seventy postage. So actually, the, what they have spent is three pound seventy on that item, not a pound. It's cost them three seventy. So, but then if they stick around, the next item might only be six p or ten p for postage. So it kind of convinces people to keep looking, to keep buying. And most of the time, there's not that many occasions when somebody buys from you on whatnot and only buys one item. Um, I would say eight out of ten. It's a random number. I've bought. Mm. Well, I have as well. I bought a hat the other day. It was one item. I try to buy more than one, but if nothing, but else, do. If nothing else comes up, you then... stick around and you wait and you think, oh, it's only 10p now for postage. You know, I've never got down to 10p. But I've I would... never bought that many items. Yeah, sometimes it goes down to 6p. I think the minimum, the, the lowest postage I've got it depends. down to is about 30p because I don't think I've ever bought more than. It depends what it is you're items. selling them and, and what, what you put in the background as a, as a weight. Yeah. But I'll get back to the chat in a second, but um, yeah, so I reckon eight out of 10 that buy from you on whatnot end up buying more than one item, even if it's two items. So I kind of see the one pound sales as a loss leader, but it does, it does dishearten you. So if people are constantly only managing to achieve one and two pound on their sales, it's really horrible. And you, uh, those people will end up just leaving the platform completely and that's when whatnot will lose out because they will lose sellers because of that because they haven't got enough buyers on the platform gonna take a breath and let us get back to the chat <sighs> seriously when he's at home he's so quiet so quiet. i know but people have got really interesting questions so i'm trying to answer them You're clearly passionate they're very passionate right uh, where are we up to exactly Gwaz has joined us. Hi, Gwaz. He says, what not drains your bank account? But there's some good sellers on there. <laughs> Fairground Funfair <laughs> says, they're a marketplace seller. Does What does that mean? Does that mean you sell online? Facebook. Facebook marketplace and stuff like that? Wow. Do you solely sell on Facebook? We had somebody else who said Yeah, we did, did didn't we? The other day. And lots of people have thanked me for shutting your bleeping up because it was annoying everybody. Oh, sorry. Um, I think Tam and Bell were one of the uh, culprits of that. Because they did apologise. <laughs> Fairground says, love recycling. Love recycling, re-loving. Love recycling, re-loving. That's a mouthful, isn't mm -hmm. it? So basically, like, upcycling stuff. Is that what they do? Sounds like it, Sounds doesn't like it? Sounds like it. Getting stuff recycling, upcycling. ABL says, it's so, so common for resellers to undervalue their time. Concentrate on freeing as much time as you can through efficiency and smart decisions, and it will be difficult to avoid success. Hmm. Uh, Gecko says, I thought a quid was unreported or under the table, and the, G uh, the British pound was official and reported to the tax man. No, it's just a terminology. Uh, 
once I've said sourcing for whatnot on eBay must be two totally. different approaches. Yeah, I Paul, can imagine totally. most would struggle to find enough of the right stock for both platforms. It's tricky, it's tricky, but um, stuff that I was leaving behind this time, well, this time last year, stuff that I'd stopped buying, I now pick up and I solely keep it for whatnot. Most, like, when I first started whatnot, and I'll try not to go on too much, um, when I first started whatnot, I was using it as kind of like a clearance for eBay, you know, like clearing out all the stuff that was low value or not selling or, you know, I was selling it off cheap, getting rid of it, basically. But now my strategy is I source for eBay and I source for whatnot in completely different ways. And it's different items that hit on both platforms, basically. Uh, Huskies reckons live selling in general won't last, just not not just whatnot. I don't know. People seem to really like it. I think there is a very fine line, and this is what bugs me with some people. There's a very fine line with the live selling that people is getting a bit blurry, where they're, they're, it's not just a selling platform. People are using it as a social media platform, mm. and it it. I think that can put some people off because when I go on it, I don't go on it to be a participant and, you know, join in and what I want to go on there to buy stuff. Yeah. So it bugs me when people talk a lot or, you know, I had somebody that made a comment about, you know, oh, people are only here for this, that and the other and they don't participate in the chat. Well, I'm sorry, there's nothing in Whatnot's rules that tells me I have to participate in the chat. It's like that's not what it's there for. And I do think it is becoming – a little yeah. bit of people are using it as a social media platform rather than a selling platform. Yeah. Uh, Tam and Bell said they need to sponsor EastEnders or something. Yeah. <laughs> and Fluffy the Muffin said something similar to you. What, what not feels like a reseller community platform. Yeah. And it does buzz me. I literally will give people like very little time. And if, the, if they haven't shown an item within, you know, quite a quick thing, I'm not interested. I'm just like, no, move on to someone. I like the ones that are like, bang, 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 bang. Here's an item, here's an item, here's an item. Because that's what I'm there for. I'm there to buy. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Mm. But <laughs> Carol says, exactly, Belle. I'm not a reseller, but buy on whatnot. None of my friends know about it, as there's been no advertising. Don't understand their logic in this. Exactly. And they, they, they're going to, I, I do believe that they might well end up going the Poshmark way. In that they will just die a death. They'll die a death because they'll just be propped up by some some of the really big sellers on there who are doing okay. Uh, but even those people, and you all know who I'm talking about, even those people are not achieving the prices that they would anywhere near achieve if they were selling that stuff on eBay. Yeah. I mean, I've been in shows where there's been literally like 10 people and they're selling everything. And then I've been in a show where there's been a hundred people and they're going through four, five, six items and no one's buying anything. So it, it really doesn't give any rhyme or reason. It doesn't matter how many people you have in. I keep saying this to Chris. He seems to think that the more people, clearly the more people you have in, the more chances you have a better got. chance. You have a better chance of somebody wanting that item. But I have watched these shows where people just aren't interested, not only because of the item, but because they just don't want to pay the price. Because yeah. people are literally on it to get a bargain and i'm the same i suppose it's like you know if somebody starts an item off at a pound i'll mm. put a bid in somebody starts it off at 10 pound i'm not interested mm. <laughs> it's like, yeah that's the thing whether that's i want it or not I'm people not have different strategies for selling and i understand it because some people want to maintain their margin but there just isn't the buying audience to hit yeah. that margin sometimes Ready Steady Retro said, I told the manager of my local pub about whatnot. She shops on Vinted. Mm. Her best friend is a ladies' clothes reseller, and she'd not heard of it. It doesn't surprise me. Most people haven't. Gordon the Gecko says, eBay Live is still quite small here in America. I think they want to iron out all the glitches and then crush whatnot. Or, you know, buy them out, probably. Somebody mentioned before, maybe whatnot, just waiting for someone to come and buy them out. But whatnot is massive in America, though. People are making massive, massive money on whatnot alone. Always outnumbered, mentioned then. You've got the packing costs as well. Pa yeah, packing costs. Tam and Bell said, if you try two or three pound starts, no one bids. That's pretty much what I yeah. just said. People literally... Does. They want the one pound bids. Yeah. They want the one pound starts because they want that chance of getting something for a quid. 
And Jerry Potato, uh, Jerry Potato says, I can't be bothered hanging around most of the time when sellers don't list their items. I don't want to be there for an hour. Plus, there's nothing that I'm interested in. Yeah. Same with me. Same with me. Antoinette Daly says, what not are depending on streamers and YouTubers mm -hmm. bringing their own audiences to the yeah. platforms? Unless there's only they, so much you can bring. Yeah. Unless they start to be proactive in advertising, they have zero growth before eBay Live gets going. Uh, Jack says, does Whatnot have item verification for designer clothes? Mm, not sure, Jack. Not sure on that one. Lisa says, I hate it when you get the seller not doing auctions until someone tells them what they want. I know. Well, I made that mistake the other day. I felt really sorry for a lady. And she was showing stuff and no one was bidding. And then she was like, oh, what do you want? What do you want me to show her? And she, she was, she kind of stopped showing stuff. So I was like, oh can I have some size 12 stuff? Cause she hadn't put anything. And then she spent half an hour showing me size 12 stuff, which I then felt obliged to keep <laughs> buying cause she was showing it for me. She bought about five <laughs> things from this person. I only spent a tenner though. I know. I spent a tenner cause no one else was bidding and she was starting them at a pound. But you think, right, that person selling that stuff must have lost money on all that because he buying it in a charity shop. Or you're buying it wholesale. Yeah. It's costing you more than one and two pound an item. So unless you're getting saddles like me that feel sorry for people and then go and buy because they like don't want to leave one without. Dave says, one day I'll talk you into Amazon, Chris. There's a lot of mileage and never having to deal with your buyers and never having to sell. Yeah, that, there is, Dave. And I'd never rule it out, to be honest. I'd never rule it out. Maybe I will go back to it one day. Night's Life says uh, they're sort, trying to sort stuff out to do the first Whatnot show. Oh, Night's There's Life on Whatnot. Film props in there. And oh, please be careful, though, Night's Life. I wouldn't want you to, like, sell some of your amazing props for, like, a quid or something. And I'm banning Chris that night. I'm going on that. <laughs> so, um, I need to find... Is, are you just Night's Life on Whatnot? Can I search you out? The Swimming Bear. That's a new one. says, not to comment on... Not a comment on the whatnot sellers at all, but personally, the idea of spending time buying on whatnot is so unappealing. You know what, though? It's addictive. It is addictive. <laughs> Even addictive. for me as well. You, you can sit there watching and hoping, waiting for the next item and, you know, bidding. It's exciting. I'm not a massive, like, social media. I, I, I go on Facebook and that's about it. I don't really do. I don't even watch YouTube. I'm not interested. But whatnot, once you open that whatnot, it's... Yeah, it's hard to come away from it again. And Gordon the Gecko just said, Whatnot has some psychologists in their payroll. Their shows are so addictive. They need to have a disclaimer for people and may become addicted. <laughs> yeah, it is. It... Do you know what? Steve and Lana came to visit us one day and we were all sat in the living room and we were all on Whatnot on different shows. <laughs> watching it while chatting <laughs> i know how sad is that uh, always outnumbered says just imagine if facebook marketplace had some time and effort put in by by meta facebook that would be a serious i've always said this i wish yeah. i wish facebook would actually um put some serious money into it because they could be good but it's just a wild west isn't it uh, I'm trying to scan down the chat so that we can get we're the duck race done. Yeah, we're late. Lisa says that she's the same. She don't mind a bit of chatting, but they want them to get on, shut up and get on with it. A lot of people are saying well, the same. Saying Just get on same. with it. Yeah. So thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. ABL says we haven't even spoken about Instagram live selling yet. Yeah. No, I've not been there yet. Sandra's the same as me. She always moves on to someone else who's just selling stuff. Do you know what? But this is something that I actually reiterated to Chris when he first started doing whatnot. Because I, when I watched his first show, that was my criticism. Once did, it. yeah. I literally was like, you're talking too much. I said, even I wanted to wind you up and be like, come on, get another, get another item on. And I'm like, if I'm thinking that, other people will be thinking that. And I think you took it a little bit harsh, didn't you? You thought I was being a bit mean, but... No, you were probably it's right. It's actually, you know, it's... But it was my first show. I didn't know what I was doing. And I think we established, because you're so used to the... I'm used YouTube, to this. I'm used, used to, to the this. YouTube setup. That was it. His instinct was to do that. Yeah. And you you kind of, the next, the, literally your second one. But some people on there do that. Some people yeah, on there just sit and chat. And they have, they have quite a big audience for that. And if that's the way they want to operate on whatnot, oh, then that's oh, what they want to do. Oh, oh, oh. 
Carol says, I've been in shows with you, Bell, and I'm sure, yes, I want a bargain. I'm not going to pay eBay prices as there's no return policy. Um, resellers are saying no cancellation on some shows. You've had that as well, haven't you? No cancellation. Yeah, I accidentally bought something that I already had and straight away I was like, oh, can I cancel it? And the, he literally, I was fuming because he said it out live on the thing. He was like, he was literally like, I don't I, I do not do resuns, so if you bought it, it's tough. And I was like, guess what? Never been back on that channel again. <laughs> to be fair, there's also quite a lot of people that pissed me off with the way they've run things and things they've said and just... I think there's a boundary between being professional on them as well. And some of them just don't have it. And it mm. really winds me up. And it's uh, seriously, there's so many now where I've just gone, do you know what? I don't even want to go back on your show again because you're just annoying me. There's so many asses. <laughs> there is. There is some. Uh, Paul says, sometimes I feel guilty. We've gone into right whatnot rant, haven't we, tonight? Yeah. Sometimes I feel guilty about buying decent stuff for a pound on whatnot. But then I think if it's not me buying it, someone else will. Don't feel yeah. guilty about it. I don't think it's I up think. to us as sellers to say, well, if we're willing to put it up for a quid, we're willing to let it go for a quid. There's no way Chris is a size 12. Do you know what? He's probably not far off. <laughs> Joan says you're persuading me. To... If anyone actually does want to go and sign up for whatnot, use my code. No, use my code, not Chris's. Use my code. No, use my code. <laughs> my code is in the description below. It will give you some free money. Don't do that. There's children watching. He gets all of it. Right. I've finally reached the bottom. Bell, Bell doesn't watch YouTube. Bell is YouTube. <laughs> Husky says, sod life selling. It's just another fade out last. Uh, fade out last. Or might, why can't I read these tonight? Or might a small place in selling, but it certainly won't take over. Sai, you're a bit late to the party. No, I'm not going limited. And no, I'm not doing the back <laughs> registration. If you want to hear all the ins and outs of that, hit the rewind button because we've gone through it before. ABL says he's doing OnlyFans. He said he'd sell those if he got his baps out. Tam and Bell said, well known asses, Bell. Yeah, probably. Lana says she's blocked a fair few whatnot sellers. So again, I'm glad it's not only me. Right. <laughs> I've got a couple of things to do quickly before we do the duck race. Um, thank you for all your chat and all your comments. I'm always interested to hear, you know, um, everyone's opinions are valid. So I'm always interested to hear. Um, let's do this one because we are running late tonight. Belle is going to be hampering to go to bed in a minute. Here we go. I hope and pray. We can sell it all on eBay. But CA53 said they did, they'd never looked at whatnot and they just downloaded it now to see to see what to do to sign up. Yeah. Make sure you use it. No, don't don't just sign up without using someone's code. At least if you don't use mine, use somebody else's code because you'll get free money to spend. Use a code, go and use mine. My code's down below. At least, even if you don't want to use mine, find another code from someone else who you prefer um, and get some free use money. My code. Use my code. Um, right. Sale of the week, guys. Now, do you remember a couple of weeks ago? Do you remember I did like a bit of a haul of stuff that I got from a handpicked vintage place? And do you also remember... Uh, do you remember me sharing the NASCAR jackets? That how much did I pay for those? Like forty pound or something? Yeah, he wanted like. Did he ask? Was it fifty five? And he gave me a discount down to forty five. No, it was more than that. It was about. It, I'm sure some, it was about eighty quid. Well, he said eighty, but I could no way could I, I couldn't spend eighty. He wanted eighty. Walked away, and as we were paying, he was about to pay in, in cash, and he was like, "Before I pay you." Can you do me anything on the jackets? Mm. And you wanted 45, and then he's he said fifth 55. 55, but then but because then I got you a got discount, the discount, it got went down to discount. what you'd originally wanted anyway. Yeah. So I think I paid around 45 for those jackets. So anyway, this is my um this is my sale of the week. I sold one of those jackets and it's pretty it's pretty nice. Uh let me see if I can bring it up. Ooh, how do I do that? 
There's a link in the description below that says what not free money or something. You can click that and sign up using that and you'll get at least a free tenner. I think it's at least a tenner. All right, here we go. Sale of the week, 199 quid for this jacket. Oh, Santa, why, why Santa? Why are you not on my side? <laughs> um, yeah, this went for 199. It went for full price. It didn't even, you know, make an offer on this. Free post, 199 quid. Is this the one quid. that you showed? I showed them all. Did you show them all? Yeah. So really, really happy with that one. And I've still got the others yet to go. So that's my sale of the week, obviously. Have they paid for it now? Paid? Yeah, they paid very quickly. It's been shipped. It's gone. Well, when you told me... Fingers crossed, paid. don't come out. They don't come back, I mean. And haven't you sold one of the jerseys as well now? Oh, well, I've sold a, I've sold a couple, but... One of the one of the NFL jerseys that I got from that place also went for eighty five quid, so that was a nice sale as well. But I've sold a few other bits from there as well from that haul. And that just shows when you hand pick, it's much easier. <laughs> yeah, hand pick's better. Hand pick. Right, let's get the duck race going because it's late. Oh, but I've got one more thing to share before we do that. Just going to share this quickly. Um, you know, after last week, we were talking about TikTok, about the future of have selling. Joined, have you joined TikTok? I'm on TikTok, babe. You're on TikTok. Yeah, look. Anyone want to follow me on TikTok? That looks wrong. I know, yeah. That's why I did it. That looks wrong. I thought wrong. people are going to click on that. Yeah. Because it looks like something naughty is going on. Who was it who's... Was it Fluffy Muffin who's big on TikTok? Uh, yes. Did they give you some help? Yes, Fluffy Muffin sent me loads of good information. Thank, thank you, Muffin. Appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, I have joined and I'm going to just... Are we waiting for you to go viral now? I'm waiting for me to take off on this platform now. Carboot Chris is there if you want to follow me on TikTok. Is that who's following you? Uh, yeah. How's Lee found you? Don't know, he must have found me. That's my nephew, that. He's found you. Is that your cater? Yeah. It's funny how people can find you. I don't know how it works. I don't do it. Well, if they're, if they're also in your uh, like address book or something or on your phone, it, it will pop up, yeah, if you've connected your accounts and Facebook and shit like that. Well, anyway, so, yeah, welcome. if anyone wants to follow me on TikTok, get me numbers up a bit, go for it. <laughs> uh, right. Hashtag Team Bell. Woohoo! Always Team Bell. Oh, there you go. What? Uh, oh, it's gone. What? I thought um, Night's Life had put a thingy up as well, but it's vanished. I thought he'd done like a whatnot link. Oh, there it is again. Is it? Oh, no, it's only cool stuff. I thought, for some reason, I thought he said Night Life. Bumcrack oh, Bumcrack's put putting... Z's, Z's. Oh, Bum Bumcrack's putting some account uh, on whatnot. Yeah. Up there only you. cool stuff. He does, and he does sell some cool stuff. It does, yeah. Right, let me um, let me get ready for the duck race. You keep people chatting, babes. You always we'll say ready. that when I'm at the bottom of the chat and there's nothing to say. Right, I'll do what we always do. I'll explain the duck race. Yes, and how to enter it <laughs> next week. So for anybody that's new to us that is now sitting here going, what the hell, this has got nothing to do with reselling, you are 100% correct. It has nothing to do with reselling. It's just for fun. It's just for fun. People love it, and you do get a freebie out of it. Uh, so if you do want to enter next week's duck race, because you can't enter this week's now, once this stream is finished, go back onto it and in the comments section below just write anything you wish it can just be duck it can just be an emoji you put whatever you want in there it would be nice to have a nice comment but anything you want and that will automatically get you put into next week's duck race um this week's duck race prize is being sponsored by emsdem correct uh there is a trio of very pretty ducks that will be coming somebody's way this week we haven't decided if we're doing a big finale at the end of the year again have we no but yeah we'll decide later in the year yeah last year we did a champion of champions race on christmas day where... who is the champion of champion it's 
Rachel Nash, isn't Rachel it? Nash, yeah. Um, we did a champion of champions. So everybody that had won a duck race through the year got put into a race on Christmas Day and we did a nice little hampery thing, didn't we? Uh, so, yeah, possibly we'll do that again this year. I'm just having to edit people's names because I did it using... Um, I did the list of names using AI and it has a tendency to spell things wrong because you lot have got ridiculous names. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be obvious. There's a Z missing off it. No, but I'm just checking through because some of them are way wrong. You mean like Deborah Sardine? Yeah. <laughs> I think I've covered it mainly. If you're wrong, if your name is spelled slightly wrong, we, we'll know who you are. Uh, and yeah, I will put the appeal out as well. If you ever want to uh, donate a duck prize, then feel free. We're always open to duck prize. Um, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. That was really kind of you, Dave. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, we're always open to people donating duck prize race uh, duck race prizes. Um, and if you do do that, just message Chris and let him know. And he keeps a little note in his book. You don't have to send them to us if you don't want to. You can keep them. And what Chris will do is Chris will do a little bit of transferring of addresses of whoever's won so that you can send it directly out to them. Uh, so, yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Cheers, Dave. Thank you so much for that super chat. That's very kind of you. Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not doing it? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There it is. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Appreciate that, David. Tamar Bell says, hope we get another cat peddler. What about an Easter race, Bell? Maybe. We do sometimes um, do themed ones, but the problem we have is the races that we pick, we can have 100 ducks in. We've never hit 100, but we can have 100 ducks in, whereas some of the other figures, you can literally only have, like, 20, mm. can't you, and stuff like yeah. that. So we're very, very limited. To... What? It's a bit of a pain. Mm. I bet it's different if you pay. Oh, yeah, you can pay, <laughs> I don't, but I don't want to pay. Um, right, do you want to do the... Um... The thing, babe? Deborah prefers her new surname. That's good. Good job, isn't it? All right, you ready? Oh, are they, are they ready? And they're off. Of course they're ready. And I can't read a single name because you've all come out of the uh, starting line as one big pack. Mick Page has finally made his way to the front along with Simon Elliott and Ready Steady Retro, but they are now heading in the opposite direction, being overtaken by Jamie Goon, Nespresso, Les Wilkins and Retro Hawk. He is bobbing along down at the bottom along with Joe Forrest. Uh, Chris Tyler has made it up to the front. He's having a good nosy up there, uh, dressed as a little Dr. Duck. Uh, AMPR is a little vampire up in the top corner, just bobbing along. Uh, and Greg is joining him as Batman Duck. XL68 is trying to make it to the front of the pack, along with Husky's Emporium and Once Loved Treasure. Chris Tyler is going in the wrong direction, but I can see Tap Peddler down at the bottom. Jane D was up there, but they have now disappeared too. Del Boy Dan and Ella and Dorothy Watkins um, are trying to see whether they can do anything with this, but I don't think they are. I think they're going to head off again. Karen Evans and Cassidy and Kimmy Kitty, all these naked ducks at the front. Could be any of them. Uh, Tamabel Resells are making it through the pack to the front of them. Uh, Vinyl Nuts is down at the bottom. Sweeney is there in the middle as Grandma Duck. Soft Cell 6 We've got a lot of names coming through today. I'm Marie Sellett. Um, and who else is there? Huskies in power, Richard Payne. I can see them. Let's have a look at the middle of the pack. Can you read any? I can see Sheriff Roscoe. I, I can see Retro Hawk. Um, Lazy Jane, Limelight Vinci. Are any of these going to make it to the front? Joe Forrest is down at the bottom with Simon Elliott, Richard Payne, and Peter Ray. As soon as I say the names, I'm like, the kiss of death. Off they go. Paul Rose is a naked duck and he's still up there. That Batman duck is as well. That's been there a while. And we're down to the last nine seconds. It could be anybody's. But is it? No, they're got, is it going to be Greg's. Is Greg going to make it? No, it's going to be Sarah B. And it's Sarah B. Sarah B, you're a winner. 
You know, the good thing about having the dual screen is I can see the chat as the race is going on instead. There you go. Um, Turn that clapper off. Okay. Speaking of Easter, though, we might not be doing an Easter duck race, but you know me. When it comes to a theme, I always make him do one. So, we do have an Easter game planned, which will be... Well, for next week, it'll be the week after, won't it? Um, a couple of weeks, and it's when's, race it, when's was... Easter? Yeah, so the, the, there would be. the Monday before Good Friday, we will do our Easter show, and that way the Easter prize can be out in time. I was thinking of doing it on Easter Monday, but then you're getting it afterwards. So, yeah, not next Monday, the Monday afterwards. I forgot, actually, forgot what we've got planned for that. Well, we'll think of something. I've already thought of something. Oh, okay. I bought stuff for it, but I can't remember what I said. I've eaten it all already. You better not have eaten it all. Do you know, I tried to forward plan. He doesn't go out right. If it was up to him, guys, just for all those that are Team Chris, if it was up to him, any decent prizes like that you get for the theme stuff would never happen. Because he doesn't do it. It's me. I go out and think of it. Do so you get all the Easter stuff? <laughs> Can't be left alone. Can't be left alone. Not around chocolate is a nightmare. I'm going to have to start hiding it. Oh, Jones, we've got a reminder for everyone. Clock, clocks go forward soon. This week, this weekend, coming. No, I thought it was no. It's Easter weekend. Oh. Hey, baby. Easter duck eggs. That is next Monday, isn't it? I'm lost. I've lost track of my days, Lana. Turn that off, but driving yeah, me nuts. It's driving me nuts. Where are we up to? We're in March. No, you're right, Lana. It's next week. It's next week. Is it? Yeah. Easter. No, the Easter. I'm, I'm, what are you talking about now? We're doing it the Monday before the Easter weekend because if we do it the Monday afterwards, which is Easter Monday, <laughs> babe, your breath. Which is Easter Monday, but then they get the Easter prize after Easter instead of before. So we're doing it next week. So next week is going to be our Easter show. I'm lost. I don't know. I've got a clue what's going on, Cookie. Have you? You haven't got a clue either, have you? So thanks no. for that, Lana. Yeah, it's going to be next Monday. Uh, Retro says next next weekend, the 31st, clock's changed. There we yeah. go. Um, right, what's coming up this week on the channel? What not Wednesday? Talking about what not? I'm on on Wednesday this week. Uh, at the moment, it's going to be a clothing show, but I might change my mind yet. <laughs> I might yet do a collectible show. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to probably decide tomorrow what kind of show it's going to be. But yeah, if you want to um, join us on what not, see what all the fuss is about. Mm -hmm. Click the link in my description that says you get free money on whatnot. Join up, get some free cash to spend. Come and spend it with me. I think you should put my link on there as well. Well, her off with your out. link. I help you. What is your link? So I tell you what I'll do for future. I might put both our links, and you can decide who yeah. gets the money. Yeah, I don't think it's fair that you keep getting it. Hi, glamours. Welcome. We're, we're almost done. We are. Um, we, so we should have been done 20 minutes ago. What not Wednesday? We'll see you Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Whatever show it will be, it will be 6.30 on Wednesday. Uh, we've got a podcast coming up this week. It is with an overseas guest. And we are, I think we are talking about like pivoting and changing your business uh, as different things come up and needs must and stuff. Um, also, the last... You'll be all glad to hear this. The final finale for the USA thrifting videos is this weekend. It's the last one. And Belle gets her legs out, so you might want to tune into that. He's already pre warned me. I'm not going to be impressed. So, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm not going to be impressed. My legs have seen... You've seen way too much of my legs on that wide screen freaking go 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 pro that he does that makes you look 10 times worse than what you actually do and now he's telling me that he's caught me around the pool in my shorts you might enjoy it so make sure you tune into that one right i'm gonna say thank you all so much thank you dave for your super chat tonight and thank you for everybody else for all your interaction your questions it's been a really interesting chat we're nearly two hours tonight um, you can shut you up 
I know, but people were dead interested in it. So that's the thing. Um, but cheers, everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all your support. And um, I'm going to leave you on this note with Belle for the bell end. Your bell end. Is that it? <laughs> um, yeah, same as him, guys. Thanks for joining us. You know, without you, we are nothing, nothing at all. So just remember, you are enough just as you are. Send in love. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go. See you later.